as you can see right there, it gets right in front of that, and boom, we have nothing but space out here to the outsides. I get about 15 yards on the first carry without really breaking the sweat. And then you can see you're gonna have some pretty big runs. As you can see here once again, he just doesn't, the cornerback just doesn't react. Pretty much a glitch, to be honest with you. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing the man. She's as always a little under the weather today. I don't know if you guys can hear my voice, but that's not, not going to see me on video today because I am sick. But I got to keep pumping out the content. Got to keep pumping out the video. And today's video is very special because today I'm going to be doing something specifically for one of my Patreons. If you guys don't know, on my Patreon, you could sign up for a tier. You basically choose uh, what topic of a video I do. And right now, that's what I'm doing. So I'm doing the Titans because my uh, Patreon member needed a scheme out of the Titans and I found a very good one out of these single back doubles Y off. This formation, I think I might have touched on this out of the Niners or out of a different playbook, uh, but ultimately this formation here has a really great run scheme and also has some really good pass plays. Today I'm just going to be going over the run plays though. I'll show you guys my four play setup. This is how I would run this offense. There's only one pass play because you really only need one pass play and that's going to be the PA corner post. This pass play here, like I said, it's a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. <laughs> Hit the like button if you guys want to see that tomorrow or Sunday. I'm not sure when I put that video out, but this is definitely Definitely the only pass play you need. I'll have more on my Patreon on my Join Up Community tab when I have the full video out, but ultimately this is going to be the most important pass play, and this is an entire video on its own. As far as the run plays go, they have a terrific run play scheme. This is one of the better uh, combinations of run plays that I've found in the game. Uh, it's very similar to one that I used out of the Niners earlier in the year, and I think it's also very similar to one that I used out of the Saints, but the Saints didn't have the 0-1 trap. I love the 0-1 trap. That's going to be one of the better run plays in the game uh, out of this formation. The stretch is also a very good uh, run play. This is obviously an outside run. Uh, I'm going to do some things to get that uh, a unique look. And the last one's going to be the jet sweep now the jet sweep is going to be a very specific purpose but as we go into the play here we're going to go ahead we're just going to pick the 0-1 trap so let's go let's pick that on the defensive side i just picked the colts because i typically try to pick um you know teams that have uh you know divisional rivals but we're just going to go random nickel so let's go and let's pick that because we are in a three wide receiver set now the setup for this is really simple you have really only two run plays that are going to be like the main focus point uh, of your offense uh, and that's going to be the stretch and the trap now the trap's going to be your inside run the stretch is going to be your outside run it's really that simple you're going to want to make one adjustment whenever you do these plays and it's going to help with the pass plays and the run plays all you're really going to do is motion in this receiver every single time like i said that's more critical when it comes to the uh, pass play than the run play but you can see even on a play like this it brings the cornerback in so if i'm in a stretch because this here looks like a cover three you got a box safety i don't really want to run into that with an 0-1 trap all i have to do is flip the play I find that flipping the play against this particular, when it comes to this run play, is going to be the, the look pretty much nine times out of ten. Uh, and all I have really have to do is motion this guy, and you can see the cornerback comes in. It's going to make it a lot easier to get outside. Now, that defensive tackles, or that defensive ends out pretty far. Uh, that might be the only issue, but 77 should be able to get out there and should be able to break me to this edge. As you can see right there, it gets right in front of that, and boom, we have nothing but space out here to the outsides. I get about 15 yards on the first carry without really breaking the sweat. So as far as the stretch run goes, I mean, this is pretty simple. I can run it strong side. I can run it to the tight end side just as long as there's not a box defender outside of it like there is here. You can see there's a safety outside, so that makes no sense. Like I said, 9 times out of 10, you're definitely going to be running it to the uh, to the receiver side. I find you're going to get better blocking. You're just going to get better everything. Uh, and then, you know, flip the play with the right stick to the left, motion in that receiver. Now you can see it gives you more room to get to the outside faster. And boom, you can see here we're getting, I mean, that block just totally failed. But you can see the blocking was setting up perfectly i could have had a really good run there and that's pretty much the look the stretch is going to be the easiest to run like i said i'm going to flip it nine times out of ten there's not going to be a lot of times where i run to the tight end side make that motion brings that cornerback in makes it that much easier to get outside of it and boom we're gonna have another big run here like i said this is going to be very easy you can see there the defensive end did get outside that's the only thing that could really cause this play problems is if that defensive end gets outside and kind of forces you uh, you know inside of the defensive end if it's spread wide enough That's the only thing that really stopped this stretch run now seeing as the halfback stretch is such a good play Your opponent's probably going to try to start spreading their defense to try to stop this outside run We already saw how this defensive end can really get in the way of this run play and kind of force your inside Which is going to be a win for the defense So if they start spreading their defensive alignment the best counter for that is going to be the Owen trap This is a really good inside run play. It's really good against uh, spread defenses like this uh, This is going to be one play though. 
you don't necessarily want to make this motion because you can see it brings that cornerback in closer to the play. If he just goes straight for the running back, he can make a tackle here. So this is going to be a play where you can do that if you want to keep it uniform, but in reality, it's best just to hurry up and run the ball because your opponent won't have any time to set up the defense. And you can see how you can have some success. And that first one wasn't too great. We're going to do that again. But anytime you have a big gap over the middle, especially, this should have a lot of success. This is also somewhere I am running into Darius Leonard. So maybe that's got something to do with it. But you can see right there, we get a huge hole. We're getting an easy 15 yards once again. So at any point in time, you have a spread defensive look like this. Uh, it's really up to you whether you want to try to get outside of it or just basically hit the 0-1 trap. And the 0-1 trap is a very good run play you can see. There's nothing up the middle and we're getting close to 15 yards just about every time we run it. So those are the main two run plays, but I do have some good options when it comes to the jet sweep because the jet sweep has some fakes in here. Uh, the zone fake jet would probably be the best to play off of the actual jet sweep, obviously, you can run it around the edge with the receiver, or you can give it, you know, up the middle with the running back. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my alls. But let's go and let's choose the jet sweep. The jet sweep is going to be against very specific looks. Typically, jet sweeps are best against man coverages. So anytime you see a man coverage like man cover two, which is what I'm going to pick here, this is going to be best. The reason this works so well against man coverages is because number one, the the cornerback doesn't follow. It's a designed run play, and for whatever reason, the cornerback doesn't follow like he does in a pass play. It's pretty much a glitch, to be honest with you so at any point in time you see your opponents in a lot of man coverages you can easily switch over to this run play you'll get an advantage right away and you can see even this outside cornerback here was following back the entire way before before the play uh, before he even noticed the play was up his back as you can see right here in the replay system number one like i said the cornerback doesn't follow he's completely out of position and any pass play when you make this motion the cornerback will follow because that's his man but for here for whatever reason he doesn't so the second that happens you immediately have an advantage you immediately have a one-man advantage then you can see when it comes to man coverage on defense this guy here is following this guy back to a point a pretty absurd point i mean he follows a 15 yards down the field giving me um you know all this space outside and this is pretty much a glitch to be honest with you just make sure you have your fastest receiver here that's pretty much the only thing i could say uh and then you can see you're gonna have some pretty big runs as you can see here once again he just doesn't the cornerback just doesn't react and we're just getting some very explosive run plays but like i said it only really works that way against man coverage so make sure you only use it against man and then last but not least like i said we do have a good counter with that which is the zone fake jet let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side, we're just going to continue with random. Now, when it comes to the zone fake J, it's really just going to be if your user starts shifting or starts chasing away. You know, if he sees the motion and he sprints out to cut off that motion, that's going to be your perfect opportunity to basically just hit him with this inside run. One of the better things about it is it goes in the opposite direction, so that's a huge benefit, obviously. But ultimately, um, this is something that, you know, this is just if you notice your opponent is using well and cutting off that, that fake jet. But this is really only a play if your opponent is just using well and cutting off that fake jet. This is not something that's even really supposed to have a ton of success against the computer. But once again, it's going to be best against spread defenses. And it's going to be best going in the opposite direction. As you can see, if, the, if my opponent tries to cut that off, this is going to be something where you want to basically just take it to the left as much as possible and get as much space as possible. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see part two of this, like I said, I got a lot of past plays on my Patreon on my Join Out community tab. Uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below